Hello everyone, uh, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, Career Mode. Last time in the video, we went ahead and fueled up the Enterprise and got it ready for its Minmus mission. The fuel barges that I made were completely reusable if they landed in one piece. The Enterprise was given a shuttlecraft to use for landing and missions, uh, blah, 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 blah. science stuff on Minmus when it got there. I was a little weary about the Pre well, not the previous, but the, uh, the, the engine that was on the actual Enterprise. It was meant to be super efficient. However, it was extremely low in TWR, which means that the burden time would be very long. And indeed it was. It took several swings around Kerbin before I could finally get the freaking Apoapsis high enough to meet Mimis. It was almost like burning as if I was going to uh, freaking Duna or something. This method, however, did save on fuel because you're using the gravity of Kerbin as well as your own thrust to move forward and gain momentum. However, it took, it took a very long time, so next upgrade to the Enterprise will be to give it a little bit more oomph. Once we got there, it was a beautiful sight for all carbon kind. Yes, the Enterprise is orbiting around Minmus. Very pretty. Now, I have a mod that allows you to go around the ship's cabin. If you're interested in what kind of mods I have, just look at the description below. I use CCAN to download them. But I wanted to make this playthrough in a way where, you know, you actually had to go through the ship in order to, you know, go to the lander or, you know, if it's actually connected, instead of being able to click and send a Kerbal from one end to the other, even though there's no possible way they could get through there without a spacesuit, with this method, everything's connected and you can actually move the people physically throughout the ship, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to try to keep the designs true to that mechanic. The shuttle was, of course, a prototype, so I was only able to land on a few biomes, but, you know... It's the first mission to Minmus, so what do you expect? Strangely enough, I was concerned about the Delta V on getting back home, because I knew I was going to have to use some to slow down, because this thing doesn't have a heat shield, and arrow braking would be a bitch. So I emptied what fuel was left over in the lander, and jettisoned the lander. Now, I don't know if this helped or not, but I tried to get into orbit around the moon first, in an attempt to maybe have it slow me down or something? I don't know. The whole using orbits to slow you down thing is um, it's something I've never really used a whole lot because of the fact that when I ever, whenever I launch a mission, I always have enough fuel to do everything I need to do. So having to use orbits or moons or gravity or whatever to slow down and change trajectories or whatever is kind of... Something I don't really do often. Except for the going around the orbital body several times in order to sling yourself far out to your destination. I've used that plenty of times. Especially for my interplanetary cargo SSTOs. But anyway, went to the moon. Not sure if, you know, my maneuver worked at all in any particularly helpful way. Then I went from the moon back to Kerbin and prepared for the worst. However, I fared relatively decently. You know, the hot dogs of death treated me nicely. No poppage, which is good. Now, for this momentous occasion, I had built a new personnel small SSTO in order to retrieve some crew and, of course, the precious science. All in all, compared to every other SSTO that I've made at the time, it was superior. Had plenty of fuel for maneuvering once it got up there, and it looked kind of nice. I will say, though, it eventually got an upgrade to make it a little bit more stable upon re-entry, but other than that, it's pretty good. So after I went up there, grabbed some science, grabbed some of the crew, came back. We had like 300 plus science. It was great. Everything was looking great. Then I saw a contract for three stars that would pay a lot to knock out six Kerbals from space? Orbit? I mean, I read the details, okay? It said for them to go to orbit and then get knocked out. I'm thinking to myself, well, surely they meant, you know, go to orbit was one goal and then getting out, getting knocked out is another goal, right? I thought, okay, well, this would be easy. I'll just go to orbit, you know, have them all happy. And then upon re-entry, I just, you know, re-enter really hard and the G-forces would knock them out. And I, boom, done. Uh, easy mission. Easy mission. I mean, right? Wrong. It was not good. 
it was bad. They wanted me to knock six Kerbals out in orbit, while in orbit. That means you had to be in orbit and then knock them out. No re-entry cheating, none of that. In order to knock out these Kerbals while still in orbit, you had to have a shit ton of thrust in order to knock them out. Holy fuck. At the time, I wasn't prepared to make a video about it, so that Saturday morning, I streamed it. And oh my gosh. Fuck it, we're doing it in three, two, one, go. Come on, you bitches. Knock out already. We're in orbit. Knock out. Knock the fuck out. Knock out. Knock the fuck out. You, 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 you. Knock the fuck out. Good. Let him go. All right. There they go. How far was it? We are leaving Kerbin again. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was like that. Two hours, almost two hours of, of, let's just say, I will never pick up a mission like that ever again. I have learned my lesson from the Kraken himself. Never again. Ever. Ever. Never. The live stream was pretty good, though. I had a lot of people laughing their ass off. Plenty of times where I just needed a break, but I had to soldier on and my brain just turned into a pile of freaking smoldering garbage it was great lots of fun but after we finally completed that mission and turned it in yeah i got some money for it but i was so glad to see that mission go the crafts that i built for it i deleted because i'm not doing that shit again but with that out of the way i was able to take the 300 yummy 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 delicious science and unlock two of the science nodes one that gave me mark one cock well actually mark two cockpit and the other one that unlocked the panther engine as well as uh rcs my goal was to eventually replace the trident star the true hard-working trident star from previous builds the trident star could get a nice sized satellite into orbit with its own fuel tank and engine in order to reach a very very wide deep orbit i wanted the ssto that i was going to build with this new science to be able to not only do that but even more I mean, it's a more higher tech SSTO, so it should be able to do more. So I developed a new satellite. No longer do you need the service bays, because the reason why I had service bays on the other satellite was to make it aerodynamic, because there was no cargo bay. The satellite itself would be mounted on top of the Trident Star, but for this, we had a cargo bay now. I could put the satellite in there with all its bare parts exposed, no problem, which made the load a lot lighter. I could put more into the satellite. I was also thinking about putting like a maybe small little crew cabin. So not only could I transport satellites into orbit, but also crew, or maybe even depending on the mission, I could make that a completely passenger SSTO just stored away. I don't know. The Mark II crew cabin was not unlocked in this uh, science node. So all I had was the cargo bay and the Mark II cockpit. Test after test after test after test after test. Everything looked pretty good. And indeed it got into orbit with, you know, more weight than the trident star could put up there well it had a little less delta v than i would love would have liked that could be easily remedied just placing a little bit more fuel tanks on there but yeah not only that but it looks it looks really nice <laughs> not gonna lie it looks really really nice however however bleh, the x01 is still prototype i haven't really figured out the class name for it so if you guys come up with cool class names go ahead and make sure you put it in the description below there's still a little bit more work to be done on the ssto but it's about 90 percent complete i think what i'll do is i'll extend the haul a little bit and give it more fuel but other than that it's ready to go just needs a name but anyways if you really liked what you saw please leave a like and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you're interested if you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. If you want to be notified of any videos that I come out with, because I'm not always putting out KSP content. Sometimes I put out other cool content that's really funny and enjoyable. Make sure to hit that bell, because if you don't, YouTube will leave you behind. And you'll never know. Yeah, YouTube be a gangster like that. But anyway, love you all so much. Thank you so much for coming. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.